Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at dot storming, which is a free tool for collaboratively creating a brainstorming board and voting on the ideas that people share on that brainstorming board. Let's go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to log into my account. And now once I'm logged in, you'll see I already have some idea or topic boards going. Let's add a new topic. And we'll say lunch suggestions. And we're going to say suggest a place for lunch. And now I'm going to give everybody in the group two votes that they can cast once they join our dot storming board. And I'm going to have people just type in the link or copy and paste the link to join the room. So let's go ahead and create it. Now here's our dot storming room or dot storming board if you want to call it that. Let's go ahead and add an idea. And I'm going to suggest Main Street Pizza. It's the best. And we see my idea now appears here. I can also go in and edit that if I wanted to click on the little and an icon, or I can remove my idea and put something else in. We can also add ideas by adding an image. And I can upload the, an image here, which is what I'm going to do. I have a picture of a hamburger, and we'll say Max's Burger Stand. And now we have a picture with my suggestion for lunch. Now I can add as many ideas as I want. I can add one more idea here and we'll just say we want to go and have uh, Chinese food. Now to invite people to this room I can go ahead and click the invite participants and just give them this link here. Now in the classroom you might need to shorten that down by using bit.ly or the Google URL shortener so that kids have an easier time copying and pasting or, or entering that link manually. Let's see what it looks like for a visitor visiting this board. So the board's going to load and over here on the right hand side we can have somebody join it. We might put in Billy's going to join. And we see down here we now have Billy and Max in the room and Billy can add an idea and he might say he wants to go to the Broad Street Diner. And he might add one more idea himself. And he might say he wants to go to uh, the Deli on Main. Right. And now, at any point, we can cast votes for our favorite ideas or favorite suggestions as they come in. So let's see. Billy's going to vote for Broad Street Diner and the Deli on Main. Now he might vote for a different idea. He can go in and say, oh, I'm going to take my vote off of Broad Street and I'm going to put it back on Main Street Pizza instead. And now his votes are used up. Now back over here on the board that I started as a teacher, I can see that I have a couple of votes that have come in. I can vote as a teacher if I want to and say Max's Burger Stand and Main Street Pizza. And at any point, the teacher can go in and say the board is no longer editable, so it would be locked, and kids can no longer add new ideas, but they can still vote on the ideas that they see. Let's go ahead and rank this by votes. And now Main Street Pizza is in the lead, and Max's Burger Stand and Deli on Main are tied for second place. And we'll use a chat, and I might, as a, as a teacher, say, please justify or please explain your choice. And we can use that chat and that part. Now let's go ahead and create another dot storming board. And a really neat feature of dot storming is that we can import a Pinterest board. So we're going to import from Pinterest this board here that I found of Thanksgiving recipes. I'm going to put that in place 
and I'm going to say vote for your favorite Thanksgiving food. And we'll say it's just for fun. And we'll give every person two votes again and we'll create that board. So this is what it looks like when the Pinterest board is imported. As you can see, everything that was on that Pinterest board has now been pulled in. Now bear in mind, if it's a large Pinterest board, it's going to take a long time to import. But we can go in and we can cast a vote for our favorite things. You can see this person has no votes available, but that person can go in and say that they want to change their votes. Uh, so we have Max participating right now. And Max does not have any votes left, but if somebody else wanted to participate, let's say that they're participating in a different computer, or in this case, a different window, that person can then open up the board and vote for their favorite idea. So we'll do that by saying we'll put Billy in as a student again. Billy will join. Billy can say, as he goes through here, that he really likes this sweet potato kale recipe and that's his favorite and he has no votes left but if he decides after scrolling through a few more recipes maybe he decides oh, I don't want to I don't want to vote for that one anymore I'll go down here I'll vote for this one and he can change that vote whenever he wants so that's how dot storming can work I mean, it's a great tool for brainstorming and voting on your favorite uh, ideas on that brainstorm board. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.